Hey, what's going on, guys? This is gonna be my part two of Tale of Two Wastelands modding. We're gonna be covering user interface mods in this video. Um, after my last video, I did rearrange my mod list a bit. My I changed the separators. I just changed uh, where certain mods sit. You guys can go ahead and copy that if you want. But for now, we're gonna download the Vanilla HUD Remastered mod. And then you're going to click on the vanilla UI plus compatibility patch and then click install. And then for the next mod, it's going to be the main vanilla UI plus uh, New Vegas. We're going to go ahead and download the manual download. And then you're going to click on plugin and WASD compatible. And then off to our next mod is going to be our vanilla HUD remastered patch. And this will allow the vanilla HUD that we downloaded to be compatible with the vanilla UI. And then now we're going to download the consistent pip boy icons which changes 3600 icons in the game skills traits um, any kind of icon that you can imagine in the game it's either changed or revamped so we're going to go ahead and get that and we're going to get the main download and then we're going to get the update folder as well And you can choose to download this plugin if you want, but I don't want to download it, so it's up to you. Um, I'm going to download. We do need to get the TTW icons that are down here. So you're just going to click on those two, and then you're just going to hit install, and then that's it. Then you're going to merge the update file with the main file. And then we're going to move on to our next mod, which is going to be one HUD, which combines all the HUD mods made by Gopher into one. Um, so this uh, mod will allow you to basically uh, hide your health bar, show your hunger stats, um, just do a bunch of stuff with the HUD basically so we're gonna go ahead and get that and now we're gonna get the loot menu and the fps weapon menu which is compatible with vanilla ui and will clean up the interface and you'll have more options this these two mods are actually included in the just mods assorted but i'm gonna use these instead so every time you either start a new game or if you go into your game one time in a save you, all you have to do is just disable them in just mods and you'll be fine. They won't have any conflictions. So we're going to download the loot menu and weapon menu vanilla UI patch so they can be cleaned up and mer uh, compatible. We're going to go ahead and download these mods and for the patches, you're going to have to merge them together which is easy. And for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be um, changing my mod load order so that all these mods work together perfectly. So you guys can watch the rest of this modding section segment. And at the end of my video, I'm going to be showing off the mods that I downloaded and installed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.
You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Can do. Easy now. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Can do. Take it easy now.